Bon giorno. Welcome back to the Italian campaign. So, uh, something has happened, and something is on the verge of happening. So, what has happened is we've taken most of Turkey, and this conquest mission has popped up. And what has also happened is that it was no longer possible to avoid war with the United States. They've been uh, tensioning up the tensions for quite a while now by sailing lots of ships through the Mediterranean. And I wanted to uh, uh, postpone that war a little bit more uh, until I was done with all the naval invasions, but it was no longer possible. So, also, uh, France, also on the verge of war, so we're gonna have a uh, a double war versus uh, United States and France, possibly also Russia and Britain, because they're not being too friendly at the moment. Uh, this is gonna be a bit of a headache because I also need a lot of tonnage to take the Bosphorus. I tried once before uh, in the in between years since the previous episode, uh, but I wasn't able to get the. Uh, uh, get the invasion channels up to more than I think it was 60% and it failed uh, there are quite a few ships in Constantinople although they had a lot of ships in Heraclea and some Sunta as well but those are just gone so oh they got sent here when I took uh, northern Turkey okay So they just teleported to a faraway port instead of going to the closest one. That's, uh, I guess that makes sense, being that this is Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Let's send out the invasion fleet first. All you guys. Go here. That's not going to be enough tonnage. Alright, we're going to need 732,000 tons. And this is 444,000, so I need 300,000 more. Good send out this huge fleet. Well, luckily I have enough tonnage, but I also need my ships to fight, to fight the Americans. Uh, Balboa, uh, New Mexico, has been renamed. It's now the Boyardee. I know someone suggested uh, New York as a name, uh, but that was a little bit too American. So I went with Boyardee, which is both Italian and also uh, a nod to its American heritage. Let's send out you guys too. Into here. Uh, refits have been done. Let's see what kind of refits I've made. Uh, Madonna della Salute. She's now got Mark V 18 inch guns and Radar 3. Um, the uh, Boyardee, the New Mexico class, has Mark V 17s and Radar 3. Uh, Littorio, Dino, Balboa, Vendetta, Erdano, Zealous, Geo Scotti, Redina Isabella. All Mark V guns, but Radar 2, because I didn't have Radar 3 yet at the time when I refit them. I know the British and the Americans have had Radar 3 for uh, quite a while longer than I did. Uh, I was on the verge of taking Zhangjiang with my armies from Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan, uh, but we got a, uh, a peace treaty with the Chinese, even though I clicked uh, no, I want to keep fighting when I got the pop-up just as I reached, I think it was like 95% done, so I missed out on taking that. I did not have any active naval invasions against China though, so it's kind of my fault, but still. I wish I could have uh, wish I could have gotten it, and of course they didn't have anything to give me as war operations, so that was a bit of a waste of time. Germany has um, taken quite a lot of stuff from the Soviet Union. Galicia, uh, Belarus, Eastern Poland, Lithuania, and they are pushing into Latvia now. Uh, the Soviet, uh, well, Russia 
it's no longer the Soviet Union. Not doing too hot, but I've been saying that for a while now. That their GDP is down to 21 billion, which is uh, basically nothing for 1946. Army logistics 2%. No ships. China not doing much better. They do have some ships, but uh, not really an impressive amount of tonnage. Army logistics 1%. So they're just not anything to worry about. Where's the uh, British Navy standing? Uh, they've rebuilt, kind of, five battleships, four battle cruisers, some heavy and light cruisers and DDs. It's not a bad little force. Uh, they were uh, getting a plus GDP for a little while, but now they're at war with Japan, so no longer Japan, good economy, decent navy, uh, same with Germany, but America, yeah, they've got, I think, the biggest navy, um, except for mine, of course. Now, we're going to need a little bit more tonnage to uh, get that naval invasion done, even though it will still not be up to... 100% it will at least be something. Let's send the Donzellas too. Zara class, okay. You can go here. Is the refit done on my super battleship? Or is it still being refit? No, everything is done. Let's click next turn. Uh, before uh, before anything, let's just see what are we... Uh, well, gun research is not that exciting because I don't use 19 or 20 inch guns, so that's just kind of whatever. Yeah, most of the technology here is kind of whatever at this point. Let's go, march on to March 1946. A serious incident has occurred which involves France. One of their profound politicians was assassinated in cold blood and their government accuses us that we are behind this. They ask for humiliating concessions to forget the matter. Seven billion. No way. I think we're just gonna have a war, France. Are you sure you want that? Uh... Admirals being replaced. Giving me plus relations with Britain. And I think the Ottomans are about to lose southern Egypt. Maybe. 24%, that's nothing. Okay, no sight of the... Um, no sight of the French. The French Navy. Let's send out this huge battle force here. And try to invade southern France. Because that would be fun. The Americans are sending a huge fleet into here. It's going to be two turns. Four battleships, three battle cruisers. They also got another one here. I think it's time to send out... Um, one of my expeditionary forces to protect my transports in Southeast Asia. And that will be these ships, the Regina Isabella class, with their recent refits. Uh, can I invade? Southern France, 
737,000 tons. That's a lot of tonnage. Yeah, kind of bad timing with this uh, conquest mission here. That's okay. Guess we're sending out the Bastarda class battlecruisers too. Uh, the Zealous has also been renamed to Il Tempo Gigante. Let's see, we got a lot of DDs here. Uh, let's send the cheapest ones. We got five of the General uh, Antonio Cantore and three Carlo Alberto Raccia class. Okay. Fine. I'm gonna send one of the expensive ones then. What do we have in... Uh, here we got the Dio Scotty class. Where is the French Navy? Hopefully they're gonna come um, come home to protect their uh, their coastline. Where are your ships, France? I think I saw you had some. Let's see. What do you have? Two battle cruisers. Yeah, oh, that's not much of a navy. Well, they are somewhere. Let's see if they show up. The press in various countries is fully supporting our war efforts. In Germany and Japan. Well, we're kind of five years in overtime, but that's nice. And here we go. Madonna della Salute, Vendetta, Eridano, Litorio, and Dino, with a uh, sizable accompanying task force going up against American Nebraska class battleships. Are all of them the same class? Yeah. 14.4 inch guns, only six of them. That's not a lot of. Um, firepower for a uh, for a battleship. It's not a big battleship either. Reliance class battlecruisers, 9 18.2 inch guns. That's uh, that's more like it. They are painfully slow though. I think they got the classes mi mixed up because <laughs> the Nebraskas are decently fast and don't have a lot of firepower. The Reliance battlecruisers are very slow and uh, very much overgunned. Yes. And again, heavy cruisers with smaller guns than the light cruisers. So something's gotten mixed up here with the uh, with the classification of American ships, it seems. Well, just looking at the silhouette, the battleships don't look half bad. Let's get our stuff organized. Vendetta, you can join in with the other ones. Uh, let's see... You can join in with that, DD. So I have two divisions of four. All of my DDs now have a top speed of forty-one knots with the with the latest refits. Mm. 
And these are some uh, some different classes of um, cruisers all mixed together. But that is fine. I'm just gonna have you follow the battleships. This group can just sail parallel to the battleships. There we go, the enemy has been spotted. I'm gonna bump you down to, uh, to your cruising speed. Why do you only have a cruising speed of uh, 23 knots? No, I guess that's correct. Uh, 24 then. Let's see, my torpedo range is 21.4 kilometers. So we're not that far off from being in range of the U.S. battle fleet. That's one of their battleships. That looks very sensible. That's one of the ones with the uh, with the 14-inch guns, which it's a bit on the light side for a battleship, but uh, yeah. Normally, I wouldn't like it when they uh, just stick a barbette under a turret without even making it uh, super fire over something, but in this case it gives it clearance to fire over the torpedo battery and the and the bofors. Let's see, where are their um, battle cruisers? Those are battleships. That is, I think, a heavy cruiser. That's one of the battle cruisers. Okay. So we've got some weirdness going on with the uh, with the secondaries here, but overall, not terrible. Let's see. Depending on how old this is, I'm guessing uh, forty kilometer range. Yeah, those could be Mark IV 18s. That's kind of dangerous. The 14s could even be Mark V, again, depending on age. Uh, I think they might be. Antonio, you, you mongoloid. Quite in torpedo range yet. And this is the division thing that uh, is supposedly fixed, but it isn't. Torpedo range. Let's uh, select some targets. One for you. One for you. Actually, one for you and one for you. The last two were not in range yet of their targets, but they will be uh, 
fairly soon. How about these guys? Are they in range yet? No. They're too far out. Starting to do dumb things. Let's see, have you all launched? You have all launched? That's when I want you to just uh, detach from one another. turn around independently. We can range here. We are now in range here. Okay. Is that a battleship? No, it's not. That's some kind of cruiser. One target for you. One target for you. And here. I'm targeting the battleships mostly because I'm fairly certain they're not going to be doing too much uh, weird maneuvering. And the rest of the uh, US task force is following the battleships. I have a good chance of hitting them. Speaking of weird maneuvering and following battleships. You've all gotten your torpedoes in the water, yeah? Every single one of you. Very nice. You can now turn your torpedoes off and just go home. I think you've done your job. Torpedoes are hitting home. The entire enemy task force is just heading straight for my ships. And the second wave hasn't even arrived yet. Uh, most of it is gonna miss, it seems. It's gonna be sort of pulling uh, evasive maneuvers after spotting the first wave. And we're gonna score some torpedo heads here. Sadly, many of them on ships that were already sinking from the first volley. We can add some very, uh, very juicy torpedo numbers here. Take a look at uh, some of the enemy ships that have been identified. The 
has a heavy cruiser, 8 inches of armor on uh, most places, 8.7 kilometer torps, and the battleships, that's actually decent armor. That's very decent armor for a AI designed battleship. 20 inches of main belt. Main deck could be thicker, but it's not terrible. Mark IV 14 inch guns. 57 caliber. So, they are kind of long. We sunk uh, one, two, three battleships already. And where's the battle cruisers? Have they not been identified yet? Let's take a look at the light cruisers. Ten kilometer torpedoes. Uh, some armor. Yeah, I guess the battle cruisers have just not been identified yet. <laughs> we scored a grand total of 17 torpedo hits. Which is really not bad. There we go. One battle cruiser identified. Chippewa. Mark 3. I thought they would be Mark 4. But again, very decent range. No armor, though. Let's pick out some uh, some battleship targets. I think the Madonna. I think I want you firing at the battleship with your big 18-inch guns. Erdano, you can keep uh, targeting the uh, the Chippewa. Well, uh, Torio is targeting a heavy cruiser. That is fine. Dino. Is there another battle cruiser somewhere? This guy maybe? Yeah. And Vendetta. That guy, I guess. Cruisers? You can just fire at will. has been identified. Let's see what kind of torpedo range you have. 15.1 kilometers. I think it's time for a thumbnail. So, I think, there we go. And this mostly just seems like a slaughter. Uh, Idaho will sink very soon. There we go, that's Idaho. Guam. Has no remaining uh, main gun turrets.
battleship secondaries firing at the uh, at the DD. 4.2 inch guns are not in range, but some of my battleships have 6 inch uh, and 5.9 inch secondaries, so... They got the range. Cruisers are dealing with the DDs. Gaeta, you're uh, being focused here by something. Yeah, you're taking some, uh, a lot of 7 inch hits actually. Good thing, thing you're not flooding. Let's have you retreat. Two million damage in total. Yeah, I don't think these are gonna get close enough to launch torpedoes at our ships. It'd be nice if my my cruisers could stay on the target, they are sinking. We got three battle cruisers remaining. Some of them being combat ineffective. I got a little bit worried these battle uh, battle cruisers would give me the same kind of trouble as the British battleships in the previous war. But it doesn't seem like it. <coughs> it's kind of an all or nothing uh, armor scheme. Some main belt, very thick main deck actually. No fore and aft belt. And the main deck and main uh, main belt do cover most of the ship. They're not that bad in terms of protection. They're gonna sink at pretty much the same thought time. There we go, Guam. Arizona still barely keeping afloat. Uh, 
not the greatest 12 inches. and she will be going under and that was it first encounter with the US Navy I dare say it went quite well Gaeta took some damage you know, Didi's did amazing I think one of the DDs uh, took some kind of damage. Yeah, Francesco Nullo took some uh, seven-inch hits from the enemy light cruisers. Madonna della Saluta did a million damage with her eighteen-inch guns. Wow. Okay. Erdano. Not that far behind, 675,000. Let's see, torpedoes 42, 9.6, 8.5, 25, 19, 38. Not bad. Not bad. We are winning. The United States government desperately asks us to sign a peace treaty. Well, uh, they wanted this, so we're not done yet. Uh, Denmark, one of his DD. So, okay, Italian Empire, Tripolitania. Oh, okay, here. Mm. Of course, my ships are. No, they are actually in the zone. There are just not enough of them. 35% chance to succeed. I think it would be higher if I could get a strike mission on, um, on that port, Constantinople. Apparently, having a light cruiser in your uh, task force will make it easier to get a strike mission. So let's try that. Oh, they're going the long way around. Oh, they should be able to make it without running out of fuel. Actually, no, wait. This huge task force I was trying to engage, it's heading here. So that's where we are going to intercept it. There. That should be uh, a meeting. Convoy mission. Three lights, two DDs. Fighting two heavies with very light guns, a DD, and 15 transports. That's a very expensive heavy cruiser. 1.3 billion? And it doesn't even seem that good. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I don't remember exactly what kind of um, armor those enemy heavy cruisers had. But I know 6-inch guns are uh, 
not that impressive. Let's just slow down the uh, cruisers to let the DDs pass. Thirty-nine, thirty-seven, thirty-seven. Wait a minute. Five hundred and seventeen. Mr. Scipioni. Uh, the Dogali is not that much more expensive than the Scipioni, and she's quite a bit more capable. But of course, that's the post refit Scipioni, and um, yeah, she was made a little bit more expensive. But they were already uh, already in service and deployed, so it made sense refitting them. Although, in terms of uh, just power uh, per buck it would make more sense to uh, replace them with the Dogali class let's see let's see here that's one of the uh, one of the cruisers you got single six inch guns even. I did not catch that uh, last time I looked at one of them. That's a lot of torpedoes though. What kind of torpedo range did it have? Six point three inch guns have a fifteen point six kilometer range. Torpedo twenty one kilometer range. Okay. Oxygen torpedoes. So that's something uh, to keep in mind. We could suddenly start taking uh, very long range torpedo hits from quite stealthy torpedoes. Then I have long range torpedoes on my cruisers as well. I think I did. 20.8, 20.7. Uh, this guy has not seen a refit in a while. The smartest thing for uh, just trying to hit the cruisers with torpedoes would be to actually aim for the transports because the cruisers are just circling the transports and when they're circling like that getting torpedo hits will be very hard Because, like, if I aim at it now with lead, it would have to aim, like, here. But it's not even going here. It's going in a circle. The torpedo targeting thing uh, does not take that into account. Let's get my cruisers a little bit closer before I launch. launch from both groups at the same time. Yeah, we should be in range now. 
All right. Tripoli, Scipione. Generala and La Massa. Torpedoes on. And torpedoes on for the cruisers as well. Torpedoes are in the water from the DDs. Now start getting down transports. That's a torpedo hit. That was not my torpedo hit. That was enemy torpedoes. Be enemy torpedoes homing in on my cruisers at this time as well. So we're just gonna turn. Will we hit any of the escorts with these torpedoes or just transports? Well, something has sunk one of the enemy cruisers. I don't think it was me. I don't think that was uh, my torpedoes sinking the enemy cruiser. Because mine had not reached that far. I think it was. I think it was Charlotte. Yeah, with her eight torpedo hits. Putting eight torpedoes into into Missoula. And there she goes. That's karma. I saw some dud torpedo hits in here. Also, maybe not my torpedoes. This trowel is going to eat one more. These must be mine. I think she avoided the rest. But she's half flooded. Yeah, something being um, was something in the recent patch notes about torpedo targeting logic. Uh, I'm still not sure it's uh, working as intended. Let's take a closer look now that she's identified. Yeah, fairly short. Six inch guns. Four singles. That's not much of a main battery. But yeah, the armor is impressive. Triple hull bottom anti torp four. Kind of lucky the torpedo hit where it did. I don't think it would have done a lot of damage if it actually hit on the torpedo blister. Let's turn your torpedoes off. So we don't have any accidents like the enemy had. Let's also kill this DD. Cruiser fire. Five inch guns are not in range yet. Uh, 
it's good that the enemy cruiser is on the far side of the uh, of the convoy so that the uh, the transport ships can almost act as my early torpedo warning if I start seeing a lot of them taking uh, a lot of torpedo hits that means there are enemy torpedoes in the water or I can just look at the uh, the launch indicator for the cruiser and know that yeah she just launched a big spread of torps Tripoli, I want you targeting the Charlotte with your torpedoes as well. Although they are still reloading. Let's keep you on. Yours are reloaded. You can get them in the water if you please. So we'll just gun down some transports. Actually, all of you just focus to Charlotte. There you go, her torpedoes are now destroyed. Oh god, you may launch if you will. The best way of killing this cruiser would be uh, make it surrender. Because it's got so many secondary guns and torpedoes and stuff. With very exposed crew. Spacious quarters though. But that can uh, potentially just mean more crew killed per. Uh, for a secondary gun or torpedo launcher destroyed. And torpedoes out from Tripoli. Forty percent crew loss. Even more torpedoes out. score one torpedo before she surrenders. I think we might. Yeah, I think that torpedo is gonna hit. It did. It's like everything went silent. And one transport remaining. Pretty big uh, convoy and some pretty expensive escorts sent to the bottom for basically, well, some losses, 89 crew loss, but basically nothing. All right, let's see. We need another 200. 20,000 tons, something like that. Let's send these to sit right side out of uh, Nis. And this task force is. Come on. Come on. There we go. That should be enough. At least to reach the minimum. 
And let's move these uh, right outside of Toulon to maybe get those uh, <laughs> strike missions. Uh, let's see. Two cruisers. No. Seven cruisers. Learn to count, man. Where are the rest of my cruisers? Are they all at sea? Liverpool, Barry. Tiramisu, the superb class cruiser. Uh, you can join in with these guys, I think. Like so. Doria and this Padrona class we have here Capri and Padrona you can go here intercept that American task force is Germany at war with the US too? almost Okay, I thought they had more ships in that task force, but apparently not. Yeah. Mm. Good lead in victory points over the US after that huge battle. But there's another huge battle about to unfold, and this will be in the next episode, I think. Ah, come on. There we go. Two turns. Yeah, so they might change uh, change course before running into my battle cruisers here outside of Mogadishu, or they might just continue on that course, and we're gonna have a big, uh, a pretty big battle with the Regina Isabella class battle cruisers taking on a numerically superior, but. Uh, otherwise, maybe inferior American task force. Although, gotta respect those big 18s on the battle cruisers. They could uh, they could make some big holes into my. Um... What are you doing here, France? What are you doing here? Are you invading Sweden? That was the French uh, task force I was looking for. Okay. Maybe we're gonna go up here and deal with them first before invading France. So we're gonna see what happens next time. Goodbye and take care.